Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. TSMC, a company that has long held the top spot in the chip industry, is facing a silent crisis from Huawei. Huawei, a technology giant that was once known for its high profile, is now unusually silent on the chip battlefield, which makes people wonder, what big move is hidden behind this silence? Let's talk about TSMC first. This guy can be said to be the leader in chip manufacturing. At the end of 2022, TSMC successfully realized the 3 nanometers chip manufacturing process. This achievement is not something to be boasted about. You know, in the chip industry, the more advanced the process technology, the stronger the chip performance. TSMC is not stopping there and plans to achieve mass production of 2 nanometers process technology by 2025. This move can be said to be steady and ruthless, leaving other competitors far behind. But can TSMC really sit back and relax? Not necessarily. The chip industry is not static especially in the face of competitors like Huawei, TSMC's leading position is not unbreakable. What are Huawei's advantages? One word potential. Huawei has huge room for technological progress. Although it has not yet reached the level of TSMC, no one can ignore its potential. Especially after 2 nanometers chips, the seemingly unattainable goal of 1 nanometer is actually not completely impossible. If Huawei can really make a breakthrough in this area, TSMC will have a headache. After all, the balance between input and output is a big issue, and TSMC may face the risk of huge investment but disproportionate returns. What's even more worrying is Huawei's silence strategy. Huawei has become extremely low-key this time, especially in the development of process technology and photolithography machines. You know, Huawei actually launched a 7nm level processor without using extreme ultraviolet lithography EUV machines. It's like a master suddenly and silently practicing a stunt before a competition, making it difficult for his opponent to guard against him. There is also an intriguing rumor, that is, Huawei's Yu Chengdong resigned from the automotive business to head up the research and development of photolithography machines in Shanghai. If this is true, Huawei's development of lithography machines may be progressing faster than China imagines. Huawei made this move very cleverly, avoiding the attention of the outside world while secretly accumulating strength. When it comes to lithography machines, we have to mention ASML, a Dutch company. ASML's lithography machine technology leads the world, but they said they can remotely paralyze lithography machine equipment. What does that mean? All domestic companies that use ASML lithography machines may face the risk of production interruption at any time. In other words, China's chip industry chain may be completely blocked. Huawei certainly understands this, so the research and development and production of photolithography machines is urgent for them. Huawei's goal is very clear, which is to get rid of dependence on external equipment and completely achieve independent control of chip production. 
So why does Huawei remain silent? Quite simply, they don't want Western countries to see their cards clearly. In the Chinese market, Huawei is the only company that does not clearly disclose the specific chip development process. This strategy is low-key, but full of wisdom. Huawei's silence not only prevents opponents from understanding their actual progress, but also avoids external interference and blows during the research and development process. Huawei's low-key strategy is not without purpose. Since being cut off from TSMC's foundry services, Huawei has begun to vigorously develop its own and domestic market semiconductor industry. In the first four months of 2024, China's semiconductor chip imports fell by 21.02% year-on-year while exports increased by more than 20%. This increase and decrease reveals an important signal. China's chip industry is rapidly getting rid of its dependence on Europe and the United States and moving towards self-sufficiency. For TSMC, the situation is not optimistic. TSMC is almost entirely dependent on customers such as Qualcomm and Apple in the market below 7 nanometers. Sanctions imposed by Western markets may further promote the development of China's independent industrial chain. Once China's chip industry chain is fully mature, TSMC may face the problem of overcapacity. To make matters worse, TSMC's semiconductor industry chain may be cut off by the Western market at any time. This risk not only makes TSMC's future full of uncertainty, but also makes them more strategically passive. Whether TSMC's current leading position can be maintained has become an open question. Huawei's silence is like a sword of Damocles hanging over TSMC's head, making TSMC feel even more pressure. The development speed of China's chip industry has long exceeded China's imagination. In this war without gunpowder, the outcome has not yet been determined, but every move made by both sides will determine the future pattern. In this chip war, who has the last laugh? Can TSMC's crisis be resolved? What kind of trump card does Huawei hide behind its silence? All this will be revealed in the future. For everyone who pays attention to the technology industry, this is undoubtedly an exciting showdown worth looking forward to.